In this lecture, we will learn about different data types. There are only a few data types in C. They are char. This is data type for storing characters. Int. This is data type for storing integers. Float. This is data type to store floating point numbers. In the sense, numbers which have digits after the decimal point also, like real numbers. Double. This has more precision than float. This also saves real numbers only. Sizes of variables of different data types. The size of a variable depends on its data type. By size, we mean the amount of memory that is allocated to a variable of a specific data type. Examples Size of variable of data type char is 1 byte. Size of float is generally 4 bytes. Integer data type Int stands for integers. We can use variables of this data type for operations on integers. There are different types of integers, short int, int, long int and unsigned int. Unsigned int means we can save only unsigned integers in it. We cannot save negative integers in such variables. We can save only non-negative integers. Generally, the size of integer is 4 bytes and the size of long integer is 8 bytes. Sizes of different types of integers follow the relation short integer is less than or equal to integer is less than or equal to long integer. Generally, short integer is 2 bytes, integer is 4 bytes and long integer is 8 bytes. Unsigned integers can store only whole numbers, that is, non-negative integers. It can save the numbers which are greater than or equal to 0. 1 byte means 8 bits, and each bit can save either a 0 or a 1. So, 4 bytes means 32 bits. So, in that number, there can be at most 32 ones, which is the largest number that can be represented using 32 bits. As we already know that in a computer numbers are stored in binary format, the maximum number that can be saved in an unsigned integer is 32 ones. Hence, the value is 2 to the power of 32 minus 1. But, in an integer, we should be able to save negative integers also. So, the total size in which we can save numbers becomes half. Hence, the maximum value that can be saved in an integer of size 32 bits is 2 to the power of 31 minus 1. And the minimum value that can be saved is minus 2 to the power of 31. So totally we can see that we can save 2 to the power of 32 different numbers in an integer. Since we need to save negative numbers also, it gets divided equally between positive and negative as we have already seen. Character As indicated by the name, this data type is useful to store characters in it. Characters include alphabets, digits, space and all characters. Examples include A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4 and all the special characters like brackets, slashes, double quotes, exclamatory marks, dollar symbol, percentage, plus, minus, 
etc. All the symbols that we can write come under character. Even backspace is a character. Float. This data type is useful to save numbers which have decimal places also. Examples are 90.334, 23.234233, 23.234233, 23 etc. So, we can save real numbers in float data type variables. These variables are useful to make computations on real numbers. Double. This data type is similar to the data type float. This has more precision than floating point numbers. We already learned in the limitations of computer that the data which we can save in a computer is limited. The precision is also limited. Floating point data type has a specific precision. But if we want more precision, then we can use this data type double. The size of double is more than the size of float. Generally float is 4 bytes and double is 8 bytes. Size of brackets. As we can see this is a function. This is a function predefined in standard libraries to know the size of a variable or a data type. Example. Size of int prints the number of bytes a variable of the data type int occupies. So it prints 4. We will use this function to see the sizes of data types which we know. Finding the sizes of different data types using size of. This size of function is defined in standard library. Here we are including the standard library. Our program starts here. This is the starting of definition of function main. The size of int is. Here we are printing the integer. And here we are getting the value size of int. This will give the value in bytes. So if we get a 4 it means that integer has size of 4 bytes. In the next line we are printing the size of short integer. In the next line we are printing the size of long long integer. In this line we are printing the size of character. Here we are printing the size of float. Here we are printing the size of double. And as we know this return 0 returns a 0 to the compiler to ensure that the program has run successfully. Let us compile this. Let us go and see the output. Since we have already compiled the program we have the executable file sizes.exe. Let us run it. It says the size of int is 4. The size of short int is 2. The size of long long int is 8. The size of char is 1. All these are in bytes. So the size of character is 1 byte which means 8 bits. The size of float is 4 bytes and the size of double is 8 bytes. So in an integer we can save 2 to the power of 32 minus 1. So in an integer we can save up to 2 to the power of 31 minus 1. In a short int we can save only up to 2 to the power of 15 minus 1 because it has only 16 bits which means 2 bytes. In long long integer we can save as large as up to 2 to the power of 63 minus 1 because 8 bytes means 64 bits. In this way we can use the function size of to know the size of any data type or any variable. 
as we have already learned that the size of function can be used to know the sizes of variables also let us try and know the size of a variable here we have declared integer as a data type int let us try and print the size of integer the size of integer is and here we are using the function size of on this variable let us compile it since we have already compiled it let us run it here we get it the size of integer is 4 hence we can use the function size of to know the sizes of variables also as you would have already observed this size of function returns an integer which is the number of bytes the variable occupies so since it is an integer we are using this percentage d to print the value and here you also should have observed that to print an integer we need not give a variable here we can also give a function which returns an integer so here we should give something that returns an integer and this percentage d prints that integer for us by this we conclude the lecture on data types and variables